I would like to thank you for your commitment to the students and to the teaching and learning process. There are four generations of teachers in my family, so I am well aware of the special rewards and challenges in being a teacher. As a former reading specialist and school leader, I understand the pressures of assessment and accountability. We are awash in tests and numbers. Formative assessments, however, provide an opportunity to conduct authentic check-ins with how your students are processing and understanding their literacy learning. They also validate the instructional planning that you make every day for every learner. What do formative assessments do? They provide you and your students with evidence of literacy growth. They help you decide how to proceed with instruction to support student learning. And they provide you with evidence for in the moment teaching of decisions. The areas that should be addressed in your formative assessments are student comprehension of narrative and informational texts, the breadth and depth of students' oral and reading vocabulary, student fluency in their oral presentations and reading, and finally, student word recognition and word solving strategies. So what do these formative assessments look like? Formative assessment could be as simple as the rubrics that you use for student work, the notes that you take while a student is reading, the conferences that you have with students about their reading and writing, and the informal reading inventories that should again cover the areas of student comprehension, vocabulary, phonics, and fluency. There are always challenges, and some of the challenges in doing formative assessments are time, record keeping, and the implications. So what? Time is always a pressure and it's always more precious every day. But we have to make those instructional decisions as to whether a formative assessment will help us be more efficient and effective in our teaching and moving our students toward meeting the standards that they are expected to meet. And I would make the argument that formative assessments can do that so that the front loading of the assessment time will really make your teaching time much more efficient. The record keeping. Record keeping can be done very formally or very informally. You can keep notes on a tablet, on your computer, or on a clipboard with pencil and paper. But after you keep your records or how and how you organize your records will determine how you can monitor stu individual student progress across time and also within one point in time look at your whole class of students and where they are within their literacy learning. And finally, what are the implications? You've collected all of this data, so what? How will you modify your instruction? How will you decide to review or reteach is a, an implication of your formative assessments. You can also decide whether you're going to provide more scaffolding for your English learners in developing their oral and reading vocabulary and comprehension. And finally, you may use this, these formative assessments to decide to uh, seek out a second opinion. That may be a grade level colleague, a department colleague, a lead teacher, or your literacy coach. So I would like you to think about using formative assessments to help students grow in their literacy development with your targeted and appropriate scaffolding. Formative assessments can help you differentiate your instruction so that students will meet their learning targets and the standards that have been set for them.